Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, now to kind of switch gears a little bit, uh, you mentioned that you had twins and you'd been saving uh, for college for them. But now, having gone through that process and having worked with numerous families all across the country, when would you say is the best time for parents to really get serious about planning for college for their children? Yeah, on the financial aid side, in an ideal world, you're thinking about this by the middle of sophomore year in high school. And the reason why is that's the beginning of the tax year that they're going to be asking you about when you pull up that form, if you do on October 1, when it goes live, your child's senior year. And unfortunately, most parents, that's the last thing on their mind. They're probably thinking about essay, you know, should we do should you take some practice SAT, ACT? They're thinking of the admission step. What are you taking in high school? All those are valid things on the admission side. But for sure. financial aid, that's when I love to first meet families or educate them because you don't you don't want to do things that you can avoid, like create capital gains or take a distribution out of your 401k. Like if you get a promotion, of course. You're going to welcome that with open arms. Your income goes Absolutely. up. That's that's a good thing across the board, right? right? But other things, I see families all the time, and I'm like, ah, now you got to reach out to the college and explain why you have all this income that's really not your income. So that's why I like people to be informed because they can they can plan. There's certain kind of accounts that kids can have that can hurt you in financial aid, but they their strategies to move that. But when you move it in a tax year that matters, shows up on a tax return. So that's ideally when I I love for families to start in reality. It's usually mm -hmm. junior year. And then sometimes, honestly, it's right before senior year. Because I think it's not like retirement. Parents realize, uh-oh, I can't put this off any longer. And I get it. It's overwhelming, right? And so people put it off. But then once their kids are seniors, it's pretty hard to it's pretty hard to procrastinate any longer. 